So far, any pullback from these names of, of any degree has been bought. You've had people step in and, and buy the dip. Our Bill Baruch is doing just that, a member of the Investment Committee. Of course, he joins us today uh, via Skype. So you bought more Tesla and you bought more Meta. So why don't you start with Meta first, because it's apropos to the conversation we're having here. It is the first of the mega caps to report this week. Again, Tesla's tomorrow, but it's sort of been stripped out of the Mag 7. Yeah, yeah. Remember a couple of weeks ago, I announced this meta buy. We did not own it at the time, and it's sitting in our bottom 10. Basically, what I'm doing here is we, we bought it around 520 as a new position. I'm increasing that significantly to, to um, now that we're below 500. So it's right in the middle of the pack. It's not in the bottom 10 of about 40 names now. And, uh, you know, listen, I, I think they could have a really good report. I really like what their partnership is in the directions heading with, with Google. Uh, we have Med Meta's AI assistant now integrates real-time search results with both Google and Bing. I mean, when you talk about innovation, they're heading down the right direction. And if this is another really great report for Meta, I want to make sure it impacts my portfolio properly. Yeah. Do you feel like, you know, when you look at the, the mega cap correction, if we're in the midst of that, and it's sort of hard to deny that we would be when you look at the declines last week, for example, of 6% for a meta or a 6% for Amazon, a 6.5% for Apple, 13.5% for NVIDIA, Microsoft obviously pulling back along with, with Alphabet too. What's your, what's your gut tell you about where you think these stocks are going to re-rate at? Yeah, I think we've seen last week was really the thick of a, of a uh, rotation a correction however you want to look at it um, but you know at the same time you know our our method is to do the small things right over and over stick to your plan and this is something that we were prepared for you know rates move very quickly i think stocks um, and just in tech especially as you go out long duration tech assets seeing the the speed in which the 10-year move the two-year back above five percent um, that definitely shook things and then you have just overall some profit taking, I think, that came in, too, ahead of these big earnings reports. But again, this was something we were ready for. We brought down our tech exposure between February and April, brought it down by about 10 percent. Some arguments, you know, the real tech sector itself, we were around 50 percent. We're below 40 percent now, too. So we're prepared for it, and we're using this as a little bit of opportunity to go shopping. Okay, so you went shopping for Tesla as well. Now, I want to hear your explanation for this, because... You could certainly make a credible argument that, you know, the stock is broken and the story may be too. If you want to focus on repeated price cuts in the face of, you know, the street thinking, well, they're done doing that. And then maybe the shift from the lower cost vehicle to the robo taxi idea. Um, and just real questions about where the trajectory of this company goes from here. Yeah, absolutely. The, the story is in pain right now, but that's something that we all know. I mean, it's been the headlines. It's a very emotional name, whether you love it or you hate it. And, you know, I think right here we're heading into this earnings report. And for a lot of tech names, it's not about what you did for me. It's about what you're going to do for me. So I think a lot of this bad news has been flushed out here. And yes, it, it's falling. It's And I don't like bu buying falling knives. I don't really you know, usually step in and, and, and make a statement here. So I did increase this a bit. It, again, it was the bottom 10 of our uh, of our holdings and, um, I, you know, added about 25 percent to it. Um, Want to make an impact at this level cost dollar cost average in. We hit a trend line. If you go back to that March 2020 low, this is the trend line into that March 2020 low at 140. And now, yes, Back about a month and a half ago when I did add in the 190s on the show, I did say 160 was my line in the sand. But we've seen a relative correction in overall tech assets, which allowed me to be patient with this name here coming in a bit. So I do want to add it ahead of, ahead of earnings. Listen, they may miss, but I think what they talk about in the future is really going to what's going to be driving this stock. Look at TSM, look at Netflix, look at ASML. Those were all not very bad reports. In fact, they were very solid quarters. Sure. But the reason why all of them turned lower was because of of how they looked at the guidance and, and some of the moves they made. Yeah, but I mean, one of my problems with technical analysis is trend lines don't mean squat if the fundamentals of a story change. Absolutely. I, I'm, not, I'm not arguing with that. What I'm doing is taking a calculated position here. 
Uh, we own it. It's in the bottom 10. And if I own this name, you know, I, I should be adding to it this 140. So I'm not sitting there saying, viewers, hey, load up on this. Well, it's in the bottom 10. I've increased the exposure with some cash we have by about 25%. So it's more of a significant position here. The fundamentals really are not looking good, but I think everything has been flushed out of this name. And if that proves me right, we could turn higher here at that point. And that's, that's what I'm looking at as, as a trader, as an analyst. And, you know, the rotations we've done, those small things we've done, uh, the names that we wrote up, the names mm -hmm. we trimmed, it's given us this opportunity to be patient right here with the outperformance we have so far this year and say, let's 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 lean into a little bit of, of a stake here into this into this earnings report. All right. I appreciate you coming on. I'll see you back on the desk soon. That's Bill Baru.